So a couple of days ago, I made a review on the Jack Specific Sonic figures, and I promised in that video that if people wanted me to do further reviews and showcase Sonic Tails and Knuckles, that I would do so. And I got several DMs on Instagram and a few comments saying that they would like to see that. So I went back to my local Meyer and I bought the rest of the Sonic figures. There's only now a couple of Sonics left, and yeah. I'm glad I can review them, so I bring you the Jack Specific Sonic the Hedgehog review. Now moving on to the star of the show, Sonic the Hedgehog. Now the packaging is exactly the same across all of them besides their name being displayed at the bottom, and on the back it just shows the playset that you can use them in. I will be getting that soon. But anyways, opening up the packaging, we are greeted to Sonic in his transparent blue ball. All of them are tinted in the color respective to them, but getting him out, he looks amazing. As I mentioned in part 1, sometimes the paint jobs can be a little bit sloppy on these guys, but Sonic here looks honestly really clean. There's a couple things wrong with him or things that I do find odd, such as for the fact that his neck, yeah, he has a neck. And it's not just on my Sonic, apparently it's on all of the classic Sonic figures. And I don't know why this is with just Sonic, because no other figures have this weird problem. But, I mean, it's not too noticeable seeing as the pose he's in. Speaking of the pose, for some strange reason, he has a really determined face. Instead of his typical smiling, you know, snarky face, he has a more serious and determined look. And to be honest, I quite like it. He's in a running pose, of course, and one arm is forward, one arm back, and his paintwork overall looks really nice. His quills are nicely done. I think this figure overall is really nice. And strangely, the thing I've noticed about all of these figures, unlike the other ones that I reviewed in part one, these guys do not feel rubbery whatsoever. They feel really, really stiff. And I quite like that because that means that they won't break as easily. Overall, I think he's a great figure. Moving on to Sonic's faithful sidekick, Miles Tails Prower. Now, the packaging is no different from Sonic's, and the ball that he comes in is tinted in a yellow color, just like how Ray the Flying Squirrels was. But moving on to the figure itself, I'm honestly quite a fan. I think that he's in a very expressive pose, but I do kind of wish he was put into a more flying pose, much like how the Tataku figure of Tails is in. Now, I do see why they wanted him to be in kind of a running pose. They wanted you to actually, you know, see him in his tails rather than, you know, being kind of like a propeller and a blur. But detail-wise, it's all here. He's really nicely painted. All of the tufts that he has are here, and they're really nicely applied. And he's made of that hard plastic much like how Sonic is. I'm kind of surprised that they did that with Tails, seeing as with his tails, they might have a tendency to snap, rather than, if they were made of rubber, be more squishy. But I'm not really complaining too much, seeing as I'm not really going to be playing with these, I'm just going to be taking pictures and having them on my shelf. Now, I think that this guy overall, he looks really nice, and he looks like he was taken straight out of the artwork for Classic Tales. Now moving on to my favorite character out of all three of them, Knuckles the Echidna. Now taking him out of packaging, it is no different from Sonic's, and the ball is tinted red. Now when I took him out, well, he's kind of leaning to the side. Doing the old lean back, lean back, gotta get that money. Unfortunately though, when I started trying to bend him back into place, he kind of broke. Yeah, but it's nothing a little bit of super glue can't fix, I suppose. It wasn't too bad, just his foot happened to pop out and the peg did. Now, moving on to the detail itself, honestly, it reminds me of the Sonic Generations Knuckles statue that you can unlock in the game. Now, I think that it might have, might have been based off of that pose, and if it is, I love it because that is one of my favorite poses. I mean... How many times can you make Knuckles fist bump another Knuckles? That's perfect. But anyways, 
All of his detail is here. His knuckles are here with his boxing gloves, his shoes are really nicely done, and his dreads, though not made of rubber, they are still here. The material on these guys kind of reminds me more of the Tataku figures with that solid plastic material that they use. Overall, I'm quite a big fan of this because I love classic Knuckles and he was one of the characters who I used the most when I used to play all of the older games. Honestly, one of the best buys I could say out of all of these. Now, on to the general size comparison. Now, much like I did in the last video, I will be comparing this guy to the classic Jazzware Sonic. And honestly, it just looks like an upscaled version of this little figure. They look really close, but of course this one stands at probably about an inch and a half to two inches tall. And when it comes to detail, I feel like both of them really do capture the likeness of Sonic really well. The quills are nicely done and everything is there. Now comparing them to the normal three inch figures, Knuckles and Knuckles. And honestly, I think that they are both good in their own perspectives, and I really cannot take that away from them. These figures overall, I would recommend these to anyone who is a true fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. You can make these guys do just about anything you want. Now, on to my final verdict. I think that these are very worthwhile figures, they're very affordable, and I'd recommend these to anyone who just wants to add a little bit of that classic charm to your Sonic the Hedgehog collection. I absolutely adore all these figures and I'm quite happy to own them. I hope you've released a lot more Jacks because you've done a great job here. That's all I gotta say, so I'll see you guys on the flip side.